In modern gynecology, there have been many innovative developments towards endoscopic surgery. Hysteroscopy is an endoscopic technique not only for diagnosis but also for treatment. This procedure, also called as transcervical resection of myoma, Transcervical resection of myoma is the choice of treatment for submucous myoma with the abnormal uterine bleeding, infertility, and candidates for hormone replacement therapy. Let's join me for the video presentation on procedure of transcervical resection of myoma. Operative hysteroscopy is best performed with the patient in the dorsal lithotomy position. Two surgical team members should simultaneously raise both legs of the patients into stereo to prevent sudden hypotension and lumbar sacral muscle spasm. It's best to have the patient's buttock on the edge of break on the operating table. Position. The operating bed should be at the level of surgeon's chest for easy manipulation and handling instruments. Monitor should facing surgeon and should not obstruct surgeon view. The patient should not rest on any metal as this could cause metal pressure injury. Patient examined under general anesthesia and sterility prepared and wrapped. After a Foley catheter is placed into the bladder and proceed, visualization of the cervix must be first be obtained. After all hysteroscopic equipment is set up and functionally, the flow of distension medium is started and flushed through the hysteroscope. The scope is then introduced to the external cervical os and advanced into the dilated cervical canal. At this time, attention is directed to the viewing monitor. Visualization of the endocervical canal is important when applying forward pressure to prevent cervical injury. Once the distal tip of the hysteroscope reaches the internal os and is within the uterine cavity, the distension medium is allowed to expand the intrauterine space. The resectoscope is an electrosurgical working element with 90 degree cutting loop, provide easy introduction greater manipulation and panoramic view of the uterus. The saline solution is the most preferable distension media and the safest. Constant irrigation to maintain intrauterine pressure throughout surgical procedure is most important. Leomyoma look fairly white and thick and are distinguishable from polyps by their fascicular structure. After careful inspection, the resection is performed by placing the electrolytic loop behind the myoma and retracting it towards the distal lens of the hysteroscope. The myoma is systematically shaved off with the resectoscope loop until the pedicle is reached. Then, hysteroscope is removed from the cavity and the fibro chips are evacuated from the uterine cavity blindly with polyp grasping for sap and sent for histopathological examination. Transcervical resection of myoma is a safe procedure resulting in complication in 0.95 to 3% of cases. 
The most frequently observed complications include uterine perforation, excessive fluid absorption with or without the resultant hyponatremia, hemorrhage, and injury to the cervix. The post-operative cause following operative hysteroscopy without the complication is generally unremarkable because most operative hysteroscopies are performed in an outpatient setting, patients are able to go home the same day. Hysteroscopy resection of myoma is still not commonly practiced. Lack of trainers and long learning curve always been blamed. Now, it's time to master surgical hysteroscopy for patients who are avoiding extractomies.